Hey gang, Spada here, and uh, I just got home, and what to my wonderful eyes did appear, but a rather, uh, not too big a box, but uh, something everybody has been asking for, uh, specifically for me to review. So, we're going to take a first look here, and then we'll go into the review. So, let's just uh, get it out of its bubble wrap. And we'll see what it is. I know what it is. But by the time I'm done opening it, I bet you will too. Alright. Dun, 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 dun. Gozy great! Man, that was thick bubble wrap. Uh, this is from the latest Sentai series. It took me a while to get a hold of this simply because... Uh, HLJ sold out of their uh, initial order really fast. So I had to go onto eBay and get it through other, uh, other means. Uh, box is typically, is typical, very colorful box uh, in white. We have a dragon, shark, snake, phoenix, and tiger. Just, uh, here are some ads for some other stuff. The sword gets stored on the back. There's the buckler. Um, <laughs> the, the, oh no, what's, what are we going to do to fight the giant monster? Crotch glimmers. He looks down and produces a card. Um, their card device, which I think is really stupid, but that's beside the point. Uh, here's some nice pictures. Yes, there is a, uh, a punch attack, which is actually pretty cool. And then we're back to this side, or we're to this side where you can mix up the heads, you can put these heads on, uh, on the guns, and, oh, there we go, here's the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside said box. Um, as I have always said, uh, these boxes are pretty darn sturdy. I mean, these are, these are, this is good quality cardboard. Um, I know that's not a real big importance to a lot of people, but it really is interesting, the difference between Japanese packaging and U.S. packaging. I mean, this is, this is pretty tough cardboard. Now, it is thinner than the Shinkenger cardboard, but... Hey, it's, it's, that, it's that worldwide recession we're dealing with, so. Uh, starting with Shinkenger, now you have warning labels of little children can pinch themselves. Uh, and with Shinkenger, this whole thing like opened up like that. This is just this one page. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, we got the bag with the instructions. And some stuff. So I'll just put the bag off here. Goze card. Uh, this is for the final attack for uh, Goze Great. Uh, it's shining because it's in a little pack. So that's pretty cool. I have no idea. This is telling me not to write on the card, not to get the card wet, or not to eat the card. A uh, little Bandai pack here. I really wish I could read Japanese. Um, I'm assuming... I don't know. It's like... I don't know. It's some kind of environmental conformist doctrine with cartoons. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely environmental because they're talking about the recycled uh, cardboard that these guys are held in and some other things. So, yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll just be throwing this away. So here's the instruction manual. And it accordions appropriately. Not as bad as Ishii Origami, but, <laughs> but I gotta say, damn. I mean, wow. Whoa, uh, looks like, uh, looks like red comes apart in 
comes up one, two, three, four, five, six different parts. All right, so uh, I'm going to put this down here and let's uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let's. All right, so here we go. It's pseudo formed together as a lot of the guys are. So we've got all the headers over here: uh, dragon, phoenix, snake, tiger, shark, the wings, uh, the body for red, green or black, yellow, tail, white or pink, and uh, blue. And notice they're all in individually nice little compartment areas that you can easily get to and put them back later and store them. So this is going to be the boring part of the video where I take everything out of the box. You know what? I'll be right back. And we're back. So each one of these things was in a bag. So we had one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 different bags. That's a lot of bags. But still, when you put it away, it's protected, which is a plus. So uh, let's go ahead and first we'll disassemble these two. This is Snake and Tiger. We'll start with Tiger. Um, <laughs> not, really, not really much to say about Tiger. Let's go ahead, first off, why don't we go ahead and zoom in to take a look at the headers. Each one of these headers is actually uh, significantly, I wouldn't say significantly, but they are different in sizes. Yellow being the biggest of the heads. Then we have uh, black, blue, shark, uh, yep, his mouth opens. Does his mouth? Yeah, his head, his mouth opens too. Uh, yellow kind of opens as well. Pinks opens. And red opens. I guarantee you if these things saw a U.S. release, these would not, not only would they not detach, well, they might detach, but not only would, they would not open. I guarantee you those mouths would not open. Uh, red has this weird thing in the, that just folds forward, and not really sure why it does that yet. As I haven't even I haven't even played with this thing yet. So all of these guys are hollow in the back, so they are to fit over certain spots. So let's go ahead and start with pink. Uh, fold out these wings. Fold down this landing gear. Oh, I guess the wings are supposed to be kind of tilted like that. And attach the head, and there we have the pink jet. And I'm just confirming with the directions. Yep, that's right. They are uh, they are not supposed to fold all the way out. They are just supposed to fold out to about there, which doesn't look ah about there. There we go. So there we go. There's pink. Which okay. <laughs> so let's go next with blue. Just fold uh, the fins out, and they kind of snap together. Not really, but fold out those, and the head. There we have a nice little shark submarine. Now, he looks a lot... These guys look significantly longer in toy form than they do in the show. In the show, they look much smaller for some reason. All right, so what are we going to do next? Let's... Uh, Let's look at yellow, just kind of a brick with a treads and head. Rawr. And there we go. Uh, we'll put right off to the side. For black, he's actually supposed to be a train, which I find actually really kind of cool. And then the head, and there we go. Snake train! Snake! Snake! Alright, yeah, I did. I went there, sorry. Um, it's by... So far, it's the longest. I don't know if it's supposed to slide or anything. Nope, it doesn't. But it actually does serpentine, which is a nice touch. Again, if it was released in the U.S., I bet it wouldn't do that. 
Finally, we're going to go with red. So we'll start by rotating those points forward, taking the tail and attaching it. Um, sort of. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh! Oh, that's, that's nice. Um, okay. It actually completely disassembles. Hmm, what am I doing wrong? Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Tail disassembles. This is the head, this is the neck. So, put that there. Attach the head. Attach the tail. And then the wings attach like, oh, sorry. They just drop into place. And there we go. So, <laughs> red is by far the largest of all of them. Uh, followed by black being, uh, black is actually about three quarters of an inch shorter. Then we have pink, yellow, and blue. I'll put blue. I'll put blue up there so he gets in frame. So these guys are pretty, pretty cool. I mean, it, looking at them, they have really nice paint. Yes, they have the typical problem that drives me absolutely crazy of screw holes, but I can fix those. It may not be pretty, but I can fix them. But it looks pretty damn cool, I have to admit. I mean, I dig the shark. Uh, the Phoenix Jet, I'll admit, is a little lame. It's, it's a little lame. Uh, all of these guys have a little bit of green. Green here, green there, green there, green there. That's the cockpit. Okay, you have cockpits there. Green, 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 green. This one is obstructed 100%. She can only see above her. That's really, really stupid. Okay, so uh, the, the other thing I don't really care for is there's not much pink on here. It's always that weird pink and white. I Just, if you're going to make a pink ranger, make it pink. Sorry. Just a pet peeve. Uh, so... Ah! <laughs> uh, in the show, these actually detached and shot as missiles, but I guess that's not going to happen here. Sorry, the feet. Um, okay, so here we have these guys. Now, I do want to mention, this is only a review part one. I'm going to compare this to some other Ranger figures in part two. I just want to get that out of the way. This is going to be sort of an incomplete uh, review, but oh well. I only just got home. It's now almost 7 o'clock. Okay, so merging. Let's go ahead and get these guys merged up. First we'll start with blue and collapse the tail fin. Close those in. He's done. Oh, and notice the nice gold detailing in there. Uh, all of these guys, the detailing is phenomenal, but I'll get to that. Pink, fold up the wing gear, collapse the wings, done. Yellow, rotate the head up, for, uh, up like yellow Voltron leg. Black, do the same thing, Voltron leg, and then fold that over. I'll show that to you again. Just Fold it over and plug it in. Nice, sturdy plug. Red. Big ass dragon. First off, going to rip off his butt. Second off, going to rip off his head. Take the central, take the head off of that central column and put it back here. Fold that forward for right now. For this guy, just combine those two pieces for right now. These will go into storage later. 
And for deployment of the head, I'm going to look at the directions just so I don't break the damn thing. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, that's easy. Take a... There's a nice little part right here with an arrow on it, as you can see. Take that, slide it into the groove underneath red. Kind of rotate the camera up. Apply pink and blue. And for the longest time I've been wondering what the hell this piece is for. That is so you can plug it in on his back, like that. Finally, push that in and rotate the head up and fold up the wings and fold that down. And here we have Gozy Grape. Okay, so we're taking a look at Gozy Grape here. First off, I need to apologize. The lighting right now is not very ideal. I'm trying to, uh, the reason for that is it's either that or that, and all the colors are bleeding out. Um, this figure is too big to fit in the light box that I currently have right now. So we have to do it this way. Oh, that works pretty well. So please forgive me for the bad lighting, but considering how bright this figure is, I don't think you're going to mind it. So. Here we have with all the headers, and his face is very show accurate, which is cool. So, what are we going to do with this guy? Well, we have a couple of options. First off, we can detach the sword, and either hand can hold it. There's the sword. I rather like it. I think the sword is is, <laughs> I kind of like it. It's highly impractical. Oh my god, is that a, the most impractical sword I have ever seen. But it's still kind of cool. Okay, so as in the show, he does Falcon Punch! Sorry, okay, maybe not, but... He does do these punches where he launches the headers at the enemy. Another thing he can do... Oh, you could do that with all of the heads, too. So you could just pop all these little bastards off. And he'll be naked as a jaybird. Oh no, he's missing all his heads! So, yeah. Now, those heads, you can actually put anywhere. Anywhere there's a hard point. And this guy has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hard points. 14 hard points. I believe there are going to be at least three sets of three extra headers. So that's three sets of three headers, that's nine extra heads, plus five is equal to 14. You're going to be able to put that many heads on this guy. So you could do, one thing you can do is say, put the shark on the front. That just looks silly. Hi, mom. You could put the snake on a kneecap. You can put the shark over here. You can put the dragon up here. You could put the lion here. You could put the phoenix up here. This is going to get real ridiculous real quick. The other thing that I need to mention is... There's a hard point right there. That's another hard point. One head out of each of those three is going to go right here and form a new head. Yeah. Or you could just do this. 
Now we're talking ridiculousness. Anyway, so that's the head motif. That seems to be the, the gimmick this season. The other thing you can do is take these wings and fold them forward. And you could put all the heads on the front. And there have been a few images floating around of what the ultimate head, version, head form is going to look like. I just don't have it in me to make this look any more goofy than it already is. Actually, you know what? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I think this season is actually, for Mecha, is going to be rather interesting. And I'm, I, I'm honestly saying that with no real... I, I have an idea of what's coming because uh, I strongly suggest taking a look at Tokaku Insider. I will link that right down there. There are some pictures of what is coming and some of, the, some of what is coming just looks absolutely ridiculous and some of it looks intriguing. But we shall see. So, oh, and I forgot you can also rotate the wings down like that. So he looks kind of like, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Abba Ranger with the uh, pterodactyl on the back. I don't know why. It just makes me think of Abba Ranger. Anyway, would I recommend this guy? Oh, hell yes. I just, from my few minutes of actually playing with this thing, this guy's awesome. I know I'm a kind of a Sentai freak, but... This guy's just really, really cool. I, the animal mecha, mo, the animal machine motif really works for me. I don't know why. And it just, it works. Maybe it's the small four-year-old child, three, four-year-old child in me, but Gozi Great is legitimately great. 